back in December 2022, so last year, uh, one of our viewers sent us pictures of her nail because she had a problem with it. The nail was separated from the skin from the nail bed. So I actually made a video about, about this and the condition is called onycholysis. So if you want, um, I'm going to include the video at the end of this video. So check it out because I talk about what exactly is onycholysis, why it happens, because it can happen for several, re several reasons and how to treat it. But in today's video, I wanted to show this, uh, this viewer's story because finally her nail grew out and let's see how it happened. So she wrote to me, it, which was begin, uh, beginning of December. She wrote to me back in September, I bumped my thumb and the nail lifted. I was on the trip and I was wearing gel polish. So I wasn't able to see the injury to my nail until a few days afterwards. At first, the lifting looked like a white roundish spot. I think it has spread a bit. I didn't take pictures at first as I thought it would heal quickly. I was watching your videos and heard you went through the same thing with your thumbnail. Unfortunately, I have experience. <laughs> I have filed the nail very short and decided to stop wearing polish. I do my manicures myself once a week with regular nail polish. I also apply rubbing alcohol under the nail. Do you have any additional advice? What was your experience like? So what I told her was that unfortunately I tried that. I tried to keep the nail um, short and clean with alcohol underneath. And unfortunately it was not getting any better. It was actually getting worse. The nail was separating further and further. And this is, this is when I, um, I cut the nail out and that's when finally the nail started to grow out. So this, I just shared my, my experience, my, my story with her. So this is how her nail looked. And I received a reply from her because she decided to cut it out. So this is the picture that she sent me. And she said, I decided to cut it down for two reasons. I didn't want to risk getting an infection and the lifting was spreading, unfortunately. So what happens is when you have this, this, when the seal, the hyponychium, this is why we have to be so careful when we're cleaning our, even our nails. When that seal is broken, that makes a perfect environment, well, for, first, perfect opportunity for any pathogens to enter and also for the moisture to enter, which that makes a perfect environment for bacteria to grow. So uh, usually due to excessive moisture and sometimes when the nail is covered because people just like to cover it with nail polish that makes perfect environment for the bacteria to grow and then unfortunately the the problem spreads so she says i'm trying to keep it dry as much as possible and although i'm right-handed i'm trying to use my left hand more i dab it a bit with rubbing alcohol morning and night so it wasn't painful, but the area is very sensitive. My niece helped me and she was very gentle. And yes, at first, when you cut it out, the, the nail bed is sensitive because the skin is not used to being exposed. But in few days, usually it hardens up a little bit. So then it stops being sensitive. And I know it looks a little weird, but this is sometimes necessary. So she says, do you think it's safe to apply oil to that area? I have been wondering about it, but I haven't done it because I'm not sure of it, if it could up causing bacterial infection. So I would say um, if it's cut out properly, if there was not a lot of separated part, then I think the oil is, um, is fine. And these are the pictures that she sent me three weeks later. So in a little over three weeks, I see improvement. My niece helped me to cut some growth yesterday. The issue now is the tip of my thumb has expanded and I hope it does not impede the new growth. And this is normal. So it's just like when people bite their nails, the, the end of the nail kind of gets a little bulbous almost. The nail eventually is going to grow and it's going to cover that area because it happens very slowly. So the body adjusts to it. So this is the picture from the seventh when she cut it out. And this is the picture from the 30th. And you can see actually in those few weeks how the nail has grown. So the good part, so this, the attached part has extended, which is a very good sign. And yes, the, the skin here, it's now it's, it's protruding a little bit. It's a little bit more um, bulbous, right? But that's, again, that's very normal. Okay, so this is how the nail looked Mm, three weeks later and then how it looked after she cut it out again because as you can see unfortunately well fortunately the nail is growing so that the 
the attached part is growing, is extending, but it's not extending right away. So there's usually some area that has not attached. So what I recommend is trying to just clip it out just so the area is nice and dry because that way the nail stays nice and healthy. So I asked her how her nail was doing and she said, I think it's growing great and actually kind of fast. Yes, because when there was a trauma to the nail, the nail usually grows a little bit faster. I see small white area around the cut part, but I think it's due to the growing process. Yes, because you know what, the nail bed here, so I think this is what she was talking about, the nail bed mm, keratinizes, so it just becomes a little bit harder and this is, uh, this is normal, I've experienced the same thing. And then I got an update from her in February, beginning of February the 7th. So this is how the nail looked. And as you can see, it's, there was a great progress. So she says, update on my nail. It's been two months. Uh, we cut off all the lifted part. So two months and this is how it looks. And let's look back how the nail looked initially when it was cut out. Okay, there you go. Incredible, right? So this is two month progress. And then disaster strikes. So then I emailed her asking how her nail was and she says, and this is actually very, very typical. And uh, this is why I really wanted to share this video with you because this is typical. This is something that you can expect. So she says, I was giving my nails some time to grow out completely and level off with the good side. I'm still seeing separation. I think I should cut it again. What do you think? Okay, so this is, this is the picture. And as you can see, so you can see that the nail is connected here and then it's still not the line is not very defined so this is how you know that the nail is not okay yet and what happens is think about it this area think of this area as being sensitive okay so it's not very uh, resilient to to damage so what happens is when you are you, first of all there's moisture underneath which is not helping anything and also this creates almost like a leverage and it's lifting that nail mechanically. So the nail is trying to regrow, but it can't because you keep lifting it, right? So I said to her, I would keep cutting it out until the area catches up with the other side. It took me a long time. I can't remember how long, but it, it was many months. So she did cut out the nail again. I didn't get the picture. And then I got an update from her in June. So last month and good news. Here is how the nail looks. As you can see, the, the nail is fine now, and you can see clearly that this border is now very defined here as well. It is normal for the nail actually on this side to, to go up a little bit higher, but as you can see that the border looks now much more defined, which means that the nail is much more healthy now. So overall, it took six months for the nail to grow out with the set setbacks. Um, so when that happens to you guys, be very, very patient. On the toes, when that happens, it sometimes takes up to two years because the toenails grow very slow, especially if it's a big toenail. And you have to just, um, if this is just from trauma, so I would suggest cutting it out until it grows out and just <laughs> a lot of patience. Thank you so much guys for watching and good job to the, the viewer that was able to correct the issue that she had. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.